Grade 6 Math, number 2.7. Problem solving, solve a simpler problem first. Sometimes when we're doing word problems, it looks so confusing that we don't even know where to begin. We don't know what it's asking for. It's just so confusing. Well, when you have difficult numbers or too many numbers, what we can do is break it into a simpler problem, solve that as a guide. Then we can use the accurate numbers. If it rained for two days and the rain fell 11.76 centimeters in 4.2 hours, how much rain fell in 6.1 hours? Well, we got to think, how many centimeters per hour did it rain? We can round the decimal numbers to whole numbers and turn it into a simpler problem. The 11.76 centimeters rounds to 12, the 4.2 hours rounds to 4, and the 6.1 rounds to 6. Now, if it rained 12 centimeters in 4 hours, how many, hour, how many centimeters did it rain per hour? That's very easy. 12 divided by 4 is 3. It's 3 centimeters. So if it rained 3 centimeters per hour, how much did it rain in 6 hours? That's easy. It's 18. So now we can use this as our guide for solving the accurate actual problem. Okay? So we plug in our actual numbers into that as a guide. So we get 11.76 divided by 4.2. That's going to tell us how much it rained per hour. We multiply it times the 6.1 hours, and we have our real answer. All right? So the first thing we do is we set up our division problem, and we move our decimal point. It's going to put it right up here. It's going to move and go right up here. 42 can't go into 1 or 11, but it can go into 117. From doing our math on the side, we see 3 is too big, but 2 could work. So we put our 2 here, and we already did our multiplication, so we subtract our 84 and get 33. The 6 is turned to come down. 42 goes into 336. From the math on the side, we see 8 is perfect, and we know it rained 2.8 centimeters per hour. Now we can just multiply it by the 6.1 and be done. Don't worry about breaking the clock down and what 6.1 hours means in minutes. That's not important. Just use it as a number. So we're going to multiply this as a regular number and then count hops for the end, right? So 8 times 1 is 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Now that we're multiplying in this column, the answer goes in this column. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. We add this all up and get 17 and 800 centimeters in 6.1 hours. See? We were able to use the easier method as a guide, okay? All right. Emma drove 236.8 miles in 3.7 hours. How far will she drive in 5.85 hours? So let's round this. We're going to round the 236.8 to 240. We're going to round the 3.7 to 4, and we're going to round the 5.85 to 6. If she drove 240 miles in 4 hours, when we divide it, we get 60 miles per hour. In 6 hours, that would be 360 miles. So now we have a guide. Now, we use the simpler steps as a guide to solve it accurately. We can rewrite the equation with the real numbers in it. So we need to divide 236.8 by 3.7, find the miles per hour, and then multiply it by the hours to get the real answer. All right? 37 can't fit into 2 or 23, but it can fit into 236. How many times? Well, with our math on the side, we see that 6 is perfect at 222. We write it up there, do our subtraction and get 14. It's the 8th turn to come down. 37 fits into 148. Look at that, four times perfectly. We do our subtraction, and we know that she went 64 miles an hour. Now all we need to do is multiply it by the hours, 5.85, and we've got our answer. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2, put the 0 down. 4 times 8 is 32, plus the 2 is 34. Carry the 3, put the 4 down. 4 times 5 is 20, plus the 3 is 23. Now we're in this column. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. Put the 0 down. 6 times 8 is 48. And the 3 is 51. Carry the 5. Put the 1 down. And then 6 times 5 is 30. And the 5 is 35. We add it all up. And we get 374.4 miles in the 5.85 hours. So if a word problem is really confusing, 
just round the numbers so that it's simpler and that your brain can see the clear path to solving it. And don't let the numbers intimidate you because now you turn them into easier numbers like this one. Look at the... I got on my hand. Okay, so just turn it into easier numbers and then use it as a guide to solve it accurately. Okay, no big deal. Nothing to be worried about or afraid of. And don't worry about breaking the clock down. Just use it as regular numbers. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.